My name is Ronnie Cummins. I'm a co-founder and director of the Organic Consumers Association, Regeneration International, and our Mexico affiliate, Via Organica. I'm speaking to you today from the Via Organica Ranch and Research Farm in the high desert drylands of San Miguel de Allende, Mexico, 170 miles north of Mexico City. In San Miguel de Allende, a group of innovative small farmers, livestock ranchers, and organic activists have developed a new agroforestry and livestock management system, which we call agave power. This system utilizes native agave plants and nitrogen-fixing mesquite and acacia trees to green the desert without any irrigation whatsoever producing large amounts of highly nutritious but inexpensive fermented animal feed, up to 100 tons per hectare per year, as well as pulque and distilled agave, traditional alcoholic beverages, and other value-added products. The municipality or, or county of San Miguel de Allende, Guanajuato, as well as the Mexico federal government have signed the International Climate Agreement, 4 for 1000, Soils for Health and Climate. San Miguel is joining hundreds of other governments, regions, municipalities, and public interest non-governmental organizations in this agreement pledging to reduce and cancel out greenhouse gas emissions as soon as possible, utilizing not only reductions in fossil fuel emissions through energy conservation and the conversion to renewable energy, but also utilizing the massive sequestration potential of native agave plants and companion nitrogen-fixing trees to draw down and store large amounts of excess atmospheric carbon in soils, trees, and plants through the enhanced photosynthesis of regenerative farming and land use practices. The deployment of this agave mesquite agroforestry project over 10 years uh, can enable the municipality of San Miguel de Allende to sequester and store enough atmospheric carbon to fulfill its pledge in the 4 for 1000 initiative to reach zero net greenhouse gas emissions by the year 2030. Mexico's net greenhouse gas emissions annually are approximately 495 million tons of CO2. The estimated CO2 stored above ground in one hectare, that is 2.47 acres, uh, including 2,000 agave plants, which this is not including the carbon stored in mesquite or other nitrogen fixing trees. The estimated CO2 stored above ground equals up to 130 tons of CO2 sequestered above ground on a continuous basis after 10 years. At the municipal or county level, in order to cancel out or neutralize sequestering and storing above ground and below ground in the plants and the soil, the total emissions of San Miguel de Allende in a year will require the deployment of this agave mesquite agroforestry system. Over 1,000 hectares have already begun to be planted with agaves as of August 2021. <music> The 
The agroforestry system will also deliver other important ecosystem services, including increased soil fertility, biodiversity, rainfall retention, and reduced erosion. In the subwatershed of Tambula Picachos and the municipality of San Miguel, there are approximately 39,000 22 hectares of land in various stages of degradation. 93.4% show signs of erosions and 53% uh, show signs of soil compaction. These lands have no possibility of successfully growing food crops such as corn and beans without irrigation at the present time. The overwhelming majority of these 39,000 hectares have been seriously overgrazed by livestock for decades. The potential for carbon credit payments. The current fair trade carbon offset price proposed by the Hudson Carbon Project in the United States is $100 US per ton of sequestered carbon dioxide. This amount of money will be a game changer in terms of eliminating rural poverty and unemployment and reducing the economic pressures that drive forced migration to the United States. Small farmers are already growing agave plants to harvest the piñas or hearts to make pulque or mezcal in 1,000 of Mexico's 2,400 municipalities or counties. These 1,000 counties include many of the poorest communities in Mexico. But most agave producers are not yet harvesting the agave leaves and piñas, which amount to up to 100 tons per year per hectare, in order to make large quantities of nutritious and inexpensive fermented livestock silage. But as more and more communities learn about the San Miguel Agave Mesquite Project, they're anxious to join up and deploy this agroforestry system in their ajitos and on their private lands. The overwhelming majority, 86%, of Mexico's farmers have no wells for irrigation. And 90% of these farmers make little or no money from their subsistence agriculture practices, that is, raising corn, beans, and squash, and livestock. Although the majority of rural smallholders in Mexico are low income or impoverished, they do, however, typically own their own family and self-built houses and farm sheds or buildings, as well as title or ownership to their own parcels of land, typically five hectares or 12 acres or less, as well as their livestock. And beyond their individual parcels, Three million Mexican families are also joint owners of communal lands or ejidos, which constitute 56% of the total national agricultural lands, 103 million hectares or 254 million acres. Ejidos or communal lands arose out of the widespread land reform and land redistribution policies following the Mexican Revolution of 1910 to 1920. Large land holdings or haciendas were broken up and distributed to small farmers and rural village organizations, ajitos. With the agave mesquite agroforestry system, several million small dry land farmers in Mexico can restore their degraded ajito lands and revitalize rural communities across the nation. Several hundred million farmers in the world's semi-arid and arid lands, 40% of the world's terrain, can do the same. This is the incredible potential of regenerative and organic food farming and land use to help reverse climate change and eliminate rural poverty and forced migration. 
This is the potential of agave power across the world.